Good morning lads. Today I wanted to learn about comparators. So I watched a couple of videos and read a couple notes on just what the comparator does and does not do. So here's an explanation of basically what I learned. These are all the items that the comparator can take a signal from. So there's no other power block per se. The comparator is just reading what's in the chest and giving off an output based off of how much I guess there we go so each of these give it off and interestingly enough an ender chest no matter how much you have in it will never put off a signal probably because it sends it to another dimension but just interesting the comparator also uh, when it's powered it gives off a very slight delay, similar to a redstone repeater um, with zero um, set to the lowest. So if you watch, this one right here on the right extends very slightly sooner and also descends sooner because it, these hold the pulse for a little bit. So it does create a little bit of delay that's barely detectable, but can still mess up some circuits. So just something to be aware of. Um, pulse extender, that's right. Or I guess this was the clock. Comparators can be used to make a clock. It can be used to make a temporary block clock with a button or a permanent clock. I guess that was useless. Let's see how. Bingo. So, and the reason that this works is because the comparator, when it's in subtract mode, so notice this only works when it's in subtract mode, it kind of it becomes a basic calculator is the best way to describe it. So it will send a pulse, say that this is the power of 14. Well, if I'm wrong, you guys can sue. 14, and then it carries 13, 12, 11, and then it goes back in. And it, well, I did set this up for a reason, so I might as well show it over here. So this is powering it with one, two, three, four, five. So if we go over here, it's about the same distance. It completely kills the power. Only kills part of the power. Oops. So it's just basic math, everything Every one signal strength here subtracts a signal strength from here. So if this is 14 and this is 5, then you'll have a 9 signal strength. Pretty simple. But yep, so that's the clock. This is the pulse extender. I knew I had a pulse extender in here. Basically how it works is it's just sending the signal around in a circle over and over again instead of just dying. It's comp constantly going back in on itself. Oh, this was how I was supposed to describe subtraction. Because this is a very easy visual visualization, that's a good word, of it losing the power because it's getting powered from the side, but only in subtract mode. Yep. So an interesting thing is it can also detect things from a chest with a one block gap. So not a one block gap, but with be through a block. So I really don't understand why this works, but it does. 
but if you were to hold the right button, that piston will turn on. And that's something else to note about the comparator is different, let's see. So notice the piston just dropped, put that back in, the piston goes up. It reads how much is in the chest and it inputs a signal based off of that. Actually, I wanna put that back. So there's a lot here that I don't understand, but that gave me enough to be able to use it in some projects. So I hope you found something interesting. I hope you heard something that you hadn't heard before. And if so, type in the comments what that was. Thank you guys for watching. See ya.